Max Fabiani, 1865-1962, was born to a well-to-do family at their farm in Kobdil by Stanio in the Karst region. This Mediterranean environment marked his life. After a long life, he died in Gorica and was buried in the family vault in Kobdil. He was one of the most important urban planners and architects of the Austro-Hungarian monarchy at the transition from the 19th to the 20th century. He collaborated with the great Otto Wagner and provided urban plans for Vienna and other cities. Fabiani received the highest awards in these years. His most prominent Vienna works are from this time, the palatial buildings of Orania, Artaria, Portois and Fix, among others. He also then became professor at the Vienna Technical High School and was awarded a doctorate in urban planning in 1902. After a devastating earthquake which struck Ljubljana, the capital city of Slovenia, in 1895, the city council decided to contract a general regulatory plan for the city. Most of the buildings were damaged and 10% of them had to be razed to the ground, providing an opportunity to completely redesign the city. Fabiani's plan conformed to the historically concentric design of the city, with the castle in the middle. He highlighted his concept by directing views from all parts of the city towards the castle and designing a radial system of streets outside the city center without interfering with the historical heart of the city. The sum effect harks back to the Round Boulevard in Vienna, Slovenian Square. The initiative for designing a new square in this part of the city was given by the Carniolan Regional Government and the city administration entrusted Fabiani with the project. The square, surrounded by new buildings, was to become a symbol of the new era in Ljubljana after the earthquake, as well as of the emergence of the national capital. The special quality of the original design of the square was its uniformity. Thus, in a relatively short period of time, the most beautiful secessionist space in Ljubljana took shape. Sadly, today the harmonious spatial composition is destroyed as the square was redesigned. Beside the existing courthouse, the CRISPR house was the first newly constructed building on Slovenski Turk, Slovenian Square. Fabiani designed the corner house as a model for every building to be constructed on the edges of the square. As it elevates, the building transitions from a massive ground floor to lighter upper floors. The facade is in the shape of a decorated mantle penetrated by the window openings. The decoration of the top floor is designed as a uniform floral motif with round ceramic inserts of various colors. Inordinately secessionist decorations were not Fabiani's architectural hallmark, but he designed them upon the express wish of the client. The architect succeeded in connecting the motif of the corner turret and the rich vegetative ornaments into a harmonious composition with a dynamic character. The famous publisher and printer from Ljubljana, Ottomar Bamberg, ordered the blueprints for his apartment building, including the bookstore and offices at the ground floor, from Fabiani. His order saw him join the project to construct Slovenian Square, whose investors were to show themselves, among other things, as patrons of the best contemporary Slovenian architects. His purpose in designing the facade was to accentuate the city's Baroque spirit, attested by the corona forming a pediment which reveals the typical Baroque characteristic of the city's finest buildings. Ivan Hribar was one of the most notable mayors Ljubljana ever had and a passionate patriot. Fabiani designed the majestic corner building on a square floor plan, which is also seen in the facade. To contrast the flat side facade, the main face is marked by three shallow bays with composite windows, creating the impression of undulation. This way, he softened up the building's otherwise dignified and serious image. The lintels above the bay and corner windows are ornate with classical lion heads, 
modeled after antique sarcophagi. The building's entrance is from the side street, where the facade comes to a calm. A secessionist character is lent to the building by a richly decorated, broad, projecting roof. The ground floor features cafes and bars, and the three upper floors originally comprised two large apartments. Mayor Ivan Hribar made it a mission to give Ljubljana a distinct Slovenian character. The greatest symbolic significance of the nation's capital would be acquired with the monument to the great poet Franze Prešeren. The winner of a public tender was a sculptor, Ivan Zajac, who did not enjoy the full trust of the committee members, so Fabiani was appointed as his advisor in laying the foundation and statue base, as well as in its positioning in space. The monument does not obstruct the main footpaths in the square, nor the entrance to the building behind it. Prešeren was cast in ceremonial dress and holding a copy of his poesia, poems. From the base of the statue, a muse rises above the poet, lifting a laurel branch above his head. The statue was solemnly inaugurated on the 10th of September, 1905. The girls' high school was founded at the Zeus House in Breg in 1896 to provide a patriotic education for the city's young women. Due to the extreme importance of the building, the first high school for girls in Slovenia, the municipality contacted Fabiani. The building is withdrawn from the walled line of the street, lending it a more monumental air. The floor plan was designed in the shape of the letter L. A clock tower lends prominence to the corner, and decorating the facade above the canopy are two stone reliefs of owls, the symbols of learning and wisdom. The building's interior layout is also visible from the facade, which is partly done in brick and partly in plaster. Fabiani's special touch is represented by the visible steel crossbeams above the windows. Today, the building houses the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of the Republic of Slovenia. Fabiani spent a long time working on plans to erect a large rectory in the tight space at Upper Square. Fabiani decided to make the building in the form of a simplified Baroque palace and set the foundation on a corner plot. He withdrew the large building from the street line of medieval houses, intending to increase the space in front of the main entrance by expanding the square. He turned the main facade toward the St. Florian's Church and an extra wing was added, closing the courtyard and the garden at St. James's. The corner wing ends with a round tower where the side entrance is located. This tower features a spiral staircase, directly connecting the rectory with the garden and the sacristy of the church. Fabiani's design was the main influence on urban development for more than a century, and some of his ideas are still in place today. The final link in Fabiani's plan was done in 2012, when the double-decker bridge carrying his name was built in Ljubljana. After 117 years, the round ring in Ljubljana was concluded. He conceived of the city as a living organism, continually changing, on account of which urbanism is a continuous process. At that point, this was a completely new approach, not to be observed among other urbanists. Thanks to two great Slovenian architects, Joža Plečnik and Max Fabiani, who both studied in Vienna and worked at the legendary Otto Wagner studio, Ljubljana today is a pearl on the architectural map of Europe.